Hey everybody, Mitch with Smedley Plumbing here, and we are going to talk about drain cleaners today. Everyone likes to advertise they've got the magic chemical that's going to solve all of your drain woes. Do they actually work? First and foremost, do they work or don't they? As you've been to Home Depot or Lowe's or Menards or any one of your local home improvement stores, you've seen a wide variety of shiny bottles of drain chemicals of some form or another. Drain openers, hair clog removers, drain busters, they've got all these crazy names. Basically how they work is they help clean up some of the gunk that is in the drain line. Let's say your clog is 10 or 15 feet down the drain line. Your drain cleaning chemical is not going to resolve that. Basically, by the time you notice that clog is there at the sink or whatever the case may be, you've got 15 feet worth of water in that drain line. So whenever you pour that drain chemical in the sink, it's never gonna make it all the way down the line to where the clog is. They have a very difficult time making it all the way to the drain clog. They do have some drain cleaning chemicals that are specifically designed to attack protein. Those chemicals work really well, actually. If you have a hair clog, like maybe in a bathtub or a shower, those chemicals going down the drain line do a fairly good job of destroying protein and therefore hair that is stuck down those drain lines. Another kind of drain cleaning chemical that we come across all the time are going to be a two-part drain cleaner. And you'll notice these because the bottle is actually split into two parts. It'll be held together with the label, but but then when you take the lid off, some of them have one lid, some of them have two lids, it'll actually allow both chemicals to make contact for the first time as they're going down the drain. Those will perform a little bit more of like a foaming action in the drain line. If you're gonna use drain cleaners, those are probably the better ones to try to use. But again, you're only gonna see limited success. Ultimately, drain cleaning chemicals are just that. They can help clean a drain, but the moment you have a drain clog, you're probably needing to resort to some kind of tool to manually remove that drain clog. So like up here in the corner, we've kind of got a pipe drawn that's got a lot of gunk built up around the edges, but there's still a passageway for water to travel through. If you can picture your drain line in that sense, as long as there's a passageway for water to travel through, then your drain cleaning chemicals might actually help loosen up some of that gunk and sludge and let it carry on down the line. If the passageway is very small at all, your drain cleaning chemicals might loosen up just enough gunk to send it down the line and actually cause a clog because it's gonna run into some other gunk down there that it can't make it past. The drain cleaning chemicals are mildly effective if you've got a little bit of buildup on the edges of the line, but the moment that buildup really starts crunching in on the sidewalls of the pipe, you're on borrowed time and it's possible that you need to have a plumber come out and run an auger down there to really scrape the line free and clear, the auger is also strong enough to push through a lot of those clogs. That's another Achilles heel of drain cleaner chemicals. There is no manual manipulation to the drain clog. There, you're only working with gravity and the weight of the drain cleaner. There's not a lot of rinsing action that can go on there. There's not a lot of scraping action. And there's not a lot of pushing action that you can get with a drain auger to help push a clog down the drains. Another common thing that we see with all these drain cleaners, and this is a total sales gimmick, is they'll say guaranteed with an asterisk, or they'll money back with an asterisk, or you know, results guaranteed, or whatever the case may be. That's to give you a false sense of security that it actually works. Really what it is is just a marketing gimmick. You paid $9.99 or whatever for this bottle of drain cleaner, and if it didn't work, is it really worth your time to drive all the way back to the store and return what's left of the bottle for nine bucks. They're running on the odds that you're probably not gonna do that. A couple of people might, but they still win in the long run because I bet for every hundred bottles they sell, they may only have one come back 
that gets returned and the store just has to eat that. One of the things that it's kind of clever in their marketing is a lot of the bottles will show some kind of nasty drain pipe, so to speak. But what's funny is a lot of those bottles show a pipe that is open and draining. It's just got a little bit of buildup on the sidewalls of the pipe. Ironically, that's where you want to be using your drain cleaning chemicals. If it's already open and draining, these chemicals can go in and break up some of that sludge and send it down the line. The drain cleaners don't work very well for a standing clog. And yeah, you can get clever with TV commercials and try to show, you know, a time lapse photo of here we poured it in and a couple hours later the drain clog magically disappeared. In reality, trust me as a plumber, we've seen it time and time again. It doesn't happen that way. One of the classic scenarios we come up to is we come up to a clogged drain. We can smell the drain cleaner from a mile away. It's got a very chlorine bleach smell to it. One of the risks with using drain cleaners is it's very caustic. It can damage the surfaces of your plumbing fixtures if it sits on there for too long. When we were at the store shooting some B-roll for this, one of the drain cleaner bottles had spilled a while ago and it was damaging the shelf that it was sitting on. It's very, very caustic stuff. Being that it's caustic, it can actually put your plumber at a little bit of risk. As that stuff is splashing around, it can cause chemical burns on the skin. It can get in your eyes and your mouth as you're working and everything else. We do have to be a little bit aware of that if a customer has put drain cleaner down the line before our arrival. One of the most common clogs that we arrive to that a homeowner could very easily take care of is going to be a bathroom sink clog. And so we've kind of got a little bit of a drawing of one here. Your, your typical bathroom sink would have a stopper in the bottom of it. There's a little bit of linkage that, that runs this stopper. I can, I can kind of draw one here off to the side. There's a little rod that runs in there that runs that stopper. As you're doing the duties that you do in a bathroom, it's not not uncommon for hair and sometimes even other objects, toothpicks and flossers and things like that to get stuck down the drain line. Well, a lot of times they will get hung up right on that linkage. You got a couple of options as a homeowner. One is to take a bucket and put it under the P-trap and remove the P-trap from the two nuts and pull that off. You can run things up and down this short section of pipe here to get that opened up. This is another case where you're hair clog remover might actually work. Home Depot sells one, it's made by Zep, it's called the 10 minute hair clog remover. That one is actually pretty effective at getting hair out of there. If you've got a clog here in your, your bathroom sink, that one might actually be a decent option for you. But ultimately, it'll be hair and other debris getting caught up on this linkage. And sometimes it's just a matter of manually removing that. Very rarely do we run into clogs way down the line on bathroom sinks. Most of the time, it is right here. We went ahead and grabbed one of these just to show you. This little tool here is actually pretty handy if you've got a clogged bathroom sink. It's called the Drain Weasel. It was like six or seven dollars. It's pretty cheap. It's a long skinny rod that on the bottom of the rod, it's got almost like Velcro on the end of it. This does a really good job at grabbing hair. You can take this rod and you can stick it right down the edge of your stopper and start spinning the rod a little bit and it'll grab any of the hair gunk and everything else that's built up around that stopper. And as it does that, it'll pull a lot of that out. We keep these on our trucks because they do a really good job of some of those minor inconvenience things like that. I mean, if you're gonna spend anything, I would say this $6 on this is gonna be far more effective than the 10 or 15 bucks you might spend on some random chemical that's probably not gonna do much for you. Ultimately, that's kind of our thoughts on drain cleaning chemicals is they help maintain a drain line that's getting some gunk in it, but they don't work very well for clogged drain lines. Clogged drain lines are typically gonna need some kind of manual removal of whatever is clogging up the line. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked what you saw here, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you have comments about anything that we said, we'd love to hear it. We, we love your feedback. We bring a ton of these videos to you like this, so feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want a whole lot more tips and tricks on anything that has to do with your plumbing.